I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. You can see the fan rotating. We are still fixing the air conditioning here. Um, I've been dwelling on the seven pillars of wisdom and discretion, which is the third pillar that, and the mo one of the most important pillars is going to take a lot of time. So I've broken it into small units. And I want to look at discretion and relationships. A good wife must show discretion. Each child is a special and unique person and must be handled in his or her own special way to bring out the maximum output, maximum extractable value from that child. Each husband is unique. Dr. Poki is different from your husband. Is different from the next man. And must be married in his own unique way to get the maximum extractable value from him. So also for husbands, each wife is unique and must be married in her own unique way. Don't let church people quote scriptures for you. Don't let them quote scriptures for you. Each person is unique and you must marry her in her own unique way. Those people who quote scriptures do not quote scriptures about Deborah and Lapidoth. Lapidoth means lamp trimmer. It was Deborah, according to Jewish history, that gave him the responsibility of trimming the lamps in the temple so that they don't go off. You think that Deborah and Lapidot had a usual marriage? Deborah, a woman that will go and sit and start adjudicating from morning till evening? Deborah, a woman that could sit on a horse and be galloping to war? You think that she had um, the same domesticated approach like Sarah? No, she was a different person. And Lapidot had to marry her as the ruler of the nation of Israel in a different way. These are things you must learn. So, adaptability. If you are marrying a woman in Nigeria, it's different from marrying her in the UK. Different from marrying her in Zimbabwe. If you are married to a Ghanaian, it's different. If you are in Nigeria, you are married to a Zimbabwean, it's different. These are key principles you must learn. Discretion. Now, if you are working with your wife, I'm smiling because I have the experience. If you are working with your wife in business and ministry, the language in the office is different from the language at home. The titles in the office are different from the titles at home. The, even the spirit of the office is different from the spirit at home. Many men are fixated, and so you have problems with your wife. When I realized who my wife is, I adjusted as the leader to make her more functional for me to get extractable value. Where, when I went to see the dentist, the dentist was asking me, how did your wife know how to build? Did she study architecture? I said, no. Once I discovered that she had the gift of building, she built our first house when cement was, uh, was uh, 50 naira a bag. 50 naira a bag. And she was 28 or there about 28, 29. When I saw the capacity, the ability, and the efficiency, I left her. You can say she's the one marrying me. Now you sabi. My life is, my life is far better than your own. <laughs> Now you, now you sabi. So, um, you identify the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats, and then you adjust to bring KPIs from from your wife and from your husband. You see, you must realize that value is only the outcome of relationships. A ton of gold where nobody 
is ready to buy it is of no use to any person. So when you relate with somebody, you must bring value. And value comes from discretion. You must show discretion. What does this person like? What does this person want? What is accept the acceptable KPI, key performance indicator in my relationship with this person? You have to bring them out. So the Vatican has many beautiful paintings and all that. But no person will buy them because they are not for sale. You see? You must show discretion. Um, if you run a business, learn to treat each customer with specificity. Show discretion. Treat each customer with specificity. If you address women as a married man and they are married women, there is a way you address them. My dear sister, madam. Uh, if I, if uh, the, the women in my mentorship group or the women that respond to me through WhatsApp, there is a way I respond to them. I do not call a woman my darling. What if the husband sees the, the text message or the WhatsApp message? My love, no, 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 no. Madam, my sister. Those are the, those are the words. You don't go and um, speak to a woman uh, as, if, uh, as if she is your girlfriend. No. Even if she's single, don't say my love. You can create wrong imageries in their mind. So you must, you, must, you must be very, very discreet when you are dealing with members of the opposite sex. Now, appropriateness is the oil of relationship. What is appropriateness? To appropriate means to assign a thing or an, to an individual what it deserves. So you assign, you assign, you appropriate what the person deserves and what is right for that person. And um, they, I saw a lady come out. I was, I was uh, writing the car. A, a lady came out, very big lady. Her blouse was skimpy. Her um, her skirt was very short. She sat on this on the motorbike. We use motorbikes as transport, a means of transport in this town. And the groove of her bum was showing. In Africa, in Nigeria, that is very inappropriate. It is not done. And then she started pulling. You should have checked yourself in the mirror. You should have known the kind of vehicle you are going to, the means of transportation you are going to take. And you must have known what is appropriate for your size, your age, and your locality. The, I wrote here 20, I mean 18 years back. The greatest harm Western civilization and American excessive behavior brought upon Africa is the destruction of the boundaries that exist between what is normal and what is abnormal. It's not everything we see from the United States that we must copy in Africa. It's not everything we see in their churches that we must bring to Africa. The greatest challenge in the world today is to define what is right and what is wrong. To define who is male and who is female. To define what is marriage and what is not marriage. But discretion and the fear of God will make you know what is right. And I wrote here that the church is confused in Europe and in America. And when they are confused, the, the virus of their confusion affects us. There's a hairstyle as a pastor that is not appropriate in Nigeria, that is not appropriate in some denominations. So you must be very careful the way you, you behave and relate with people. Uh, our societies are imbibing attitudes from the Western world that we do not have the infrastructure to sustain and to control. You, you, the social welfare, you don't discipline a child, you don't control a child, you say a child should just be let loose. In the, in, the, in the United States and in the UK, the government will take those children and cater for them. Here, if those children become wayward and useless, they will suffer and die stupidly, and you will be the loser. So we must not just imbibe every culture, every attitude from the Western world. We should still preserve what has been good for us and what is good for us, what is appropriate for us in this part of the world. 
I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Remember the online conference that is coming up on the 1st of May by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Send me a message on plus 234-7052136763. I will send you the flyer and I will, um, you will see how to pay for this conference and um, I will join you to the WhatsApp mentorship group and we'll have properties for sale. God bless you.